Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to install Mac OS X in um, VirtualBox. Here, Mac OS X 10.5 in VirtualBox. I'm actually going to remove this. Um, actually, I'm going to show you this. Um, so, this is my installed version. I'll show you how to um, actually install it. So, uh, just let uh, it's going to do this before you install it. So. It's set for an auto logon, so, oops, where did it go? Where did you go? There you are. Okay. Why is my desk right there? Here, let's, let's. There. Okay. Um, so here's my installed version with iTunes and everything, so. Find your so that so um so do that so shut down shut down so it'll go black with that little one thing, so all right ah why do you go over here okay okay can close out of that. there okay um go ahead and click new uh, if you want to actually install it so um, make sure you have the Callaway ISO file before you do this um, or else this will not work properly I've tried everything there was uh, this is the only thing I can get to actually work uh, go ahead and click next uh, and just type Mac and you can have Mac and then it'll automatically change everything right here so then Mac OS X 10.5 uh, Leopard 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 Next uh, do about uh, 15 through 5 megabytes Click next next VHD Yeah use the VHD the virtual hard disk next Next, 40 gigabytes. Next, so yeah, give it about 40 gigabytes. Um, or else, uh, well, for 40 gigabytes will be enough. Uh, 20 gigabytes is pretty good too. So, create, create, and now I have Mac OS X 10.5 Leopard. Um, we're actually gonna now start it. Yeah, we're actually gonna go to settings. Uh, we're going to go to the system and remove this floppy. Actually, put hard disk to the top and then CD-ROM and disable the enable the FI. So disable it. I'm um, going to storage uh, and go to this empty here and then go to find your Callaway ISO file. So go ahead and hit uh, your check your audio drivers to null if this one doesn't work go to the windows direct sound but I, i'm gonna try and use all um network uh you can, doesn't really matter so as long as it's, you can get connected so uh, serial ports if you have one you're gonna use it you can uh usb uh doesn't really matter just i don't know um shared folders does not actually work in mac os x so just go ahead and click ok now and now we can start it uh, we're going to go into full screen. Why is where to go? Seriously. Okay, here. Huh? Seriously, why is my test card over here? There. Okay. Um. Reset. Stick any key before it gets to that little thing and start counting down okay so just let this load so all right and we are to the um language screen so just click your language and it'll prepare the installation so welcome to mac os x library and until amd installed by callaway i'm go ahead and click continue uh, get agree 
since there's no destination here, we're going to actually want to go up to Utilities and click Disk Utility. So go ahead and click this 40 gigabyte Vbox hard disk and hit Partion up here and then go one Partion. So I'm going to call it Mac or Macintosh because that's how it looks like and because that's the actual name of the your hard disk in the actual IMAX and whatever else there is so make sure you're actually on journaled so 40 gigabytes and apply and then partial doesn't matter how many partials you do as long as you got one above uh, 10 gigabytes so you can actually have about four so like you could portion them off but they have to be small so we've got one portion here and now we can go and hit quit disk utility so now we can use the Macintosh hard disk so go ahead and click continue and we're actually going to want to customize this install uh, if you have an AMD processor go ahead and click uh, the AMD uh, patch one and then boot legacy so you should only use this one if you have an AMD processor processor and the first one don't work so um, it doesn't work so uh, now you're gonna wanna just select graphics drivers or else this won't be able to boot up properly uh, now we can go to our third applications uh, be, uh, if you work with photos I would use iPhoto and then I don't have a camera so I'm just gonna take out that Mac cam I have a DVD burner though so I'm probably gonna want to rip some DVDs in Mac OS X so I'm gonna select Mac the Ripper so um, kernels I'm actually gonna take out that kernel and I'm actually gonna use this one I have a 32 bit for AMD uh, so you know, select that. Uh, you can check out these other ones, but I, I'm going to use this mod in. So done, and now I'm going to install. So you can either let it check your installation DVD, or you can just skip it. So now we're installing. Mac OS X on your SC virtual machine. So, um, yep, so, um, I'm gonna, so, I'm, I'm gonna pause this, um, while it's installing, so, um, it doesn't take up that 15 minute limit, so, um, it'll take up to 15 minutes to 20 minutes so this will mine will take about 14 minutes so yeah Hey guys, my install just succeeded. And it's on my Macintosh volume. So I'm going to restart now. Um, just to let it stay like this. It'll, it'll look like it's frozen, but it's really just doing something that's not frozen. Just wait a little bit and it will restart. And we first started.
successfully booted. Alright. Continue, continue, continue. Okay, um, I'm gonna use this at home. Now put well, video and film. Ah. Uh, that. That. Setting up, setting up computer clock, setting up your computer. All right, and thank you. Your Macintosh is ready. And here we are. So, like now we've got all this. Uh, so now we've completed our installation of Mac OS X um, and uh, I'll be posting more videos soon so um, go ahead and just play around with this, you know, it's fun. <laughs>